Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks so much for joining me today. Today I am creating another card using the Hedgehog Hollow September subscription box, and this is a super cool box. It is uh, Day of the Dead themed, so it has sugar skulls and um, uh, lots of different stamps and items in the box. If you're interested in seeing the contents of the box, go ahead and click on the link above and that will take you to a video where I show the contents. So today I'm using the six by eight stamp set that has the kind of like dancing skeletons. And along with that, I'm gonna use a die from my stash to make some borders. And I am going to use the border die to cut out these color blocks. So I'm taking a piece of Hammer Mill uh, 110 pound paper and I'm using some Tombow markers. I've gone ahead and popped those uh, Tombow marker color numbers up on the screen. And I'm just coloring enough of the color on my paper to get at least two strips of borders out of the um, color. And so this is kind of a loopy um, <laughs> border die. And I'm going to layer this on some cardstock, um, kind of to look like fringe in a way. And so here are all my pieces cut. I have two um, strips of each color that I've done, and there are five colors total. And I've just gone ahead and taken a, um, a card panel, and I am going to be doing this in a landscape orientation. So I've gone ahead and um, laid out my strips how I think I want them. And then I'm going to take some memento black ink and stamp up these little uh, dancing skeletons. And when I'm stamping these out, I am having the hands touch each other so that when my scan and cut cuts the images out, it's gonna cut an image that's um, all together instead of uh, three separate skeletons. So this would be a perfect stamp to use to make some kind of like banner or something like that, some colorful uh, banner. It would be super cool. This is also a cool um, stamp set to make like hinged arms and legs with brads maybe and have them move around. I just think that would be super cool. Um, but for my card today, I've gone ahead and I've stamped those images out along with two of the guitars. And then I ran this through my scan and cut. And as you can see, all the little skeletons um, are attached together. And I'm gonna go ahead and set those aside and I will adhere my um, die cut pieces to a white panel. And so I'm just gonna start at the bottom and adhere all of these pieces to the white panel. I'm not really sure why I chose a white panel because I do end up putting cutting the, t the very bottom off and putting it on a black um, card base. So um, I'm taking my Barely Art uh, glue and I am just going to glue all of the pieces. So I'm gluing, placing the glue on the very top portion of the die cut piece so that the bottom portion is not adhered. So it's kind of like a flap in a way. So a fringe. <laughs> Um, and then I'm taking another die from the same die set that I used um, with the kind of the scalloped borders and it is a Hello Bluebird die set and it's called Basic Borders. And I am taking that and I have cut a piece of just scrap black cardstock with that die. And then I have taken the sentiment from the sentiment set in the subscription box and heat and boss set in white and it just says Day of the Dead. And so I'll go ahead and pop that black piece up with some um, foam circles and adhere that to the top of the card. And then I'll trim the excess, excess uh, paper off of each side of the card. And I'm also gonna go ahead and trim off that white portion on the bottom and use some liquid adhesive to adhere that to a black card base. Um, and then I use these outline stickers from Crazy Creations to um, fill in that bottom portion so that it just trims it out a little bit better. And then for the skeleton images, I took some foam strips and put those behind the first and the third skeleton. Um, the one in the middle is not going to be supported. It's going to be kind of sticking up a little bit in the air. I do add one little piece of foam tape to the back of his head just to make sure that he stays popped up a little bit. And then I just fold the hands up, um, kind of like in a tent so that it is raised a little bit from the card. Hopefully you can see that. 
And then I add to the two guitars to each side of the skeletons, a few little gems, and that will complete this card. This was super fun to create. Um, I loved using all of the colors, um, very vibrant and happy and a celebration of a day of the dead. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it or find it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, as always, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me and I'll catch you next time.